Today we witness the queen of the weaving spiders revealing all her power, the feared false black widow known to experts as Steatota peculiana. This spider, distinguished by the precision of its movements and the cunning with which it stalks, has developed the extraordinary ability to hunt without relying on a pre-built web, a privilege that very few species possess in the arachnid world. But will the Stitota be able to capture prey as elusive as a fly without the support of a web to guarantee its victory? This common fly we see, although it may seem like a simple creature, has eyes made up of thousands of tiny lenses working in unison, able to detect even the slightest movement. With them, its reflexes are almost unbelievable, reacting up to seven times faster than those of a human, allowing it to escape from predators that surpass it in size and strength, such as birds, lizards, or spiders. Suddenly, the spider displayed unusual behavior. It took advantage of the drop of honey I had placed to lure and display the fly, and began feeding on it, a surprising sight if we remember that, in theory, spiders feed only on insects. The spider has detected the presence of the fly, and it understands that this is no ordinary prey. It knows that its speed and reflexes make it an almost impossible opponent, but instead of striking blindly, it remains motionless, waiting for the perfect moment. It observes every movement of its wings, measures the distance, and patiently prepares its attack. And then, in a fraction of a second, it strikes with lethal precision, capturing the fly before it can even react. But this small fly is nothing more than a simple appetizer for this voracious spider. On this channel, we have already witnessed how the false black widow manages to bring down prey larger than itself. Yet what would happen if it encountered a common cricket, a creature that can grow to twice its size and multiply its strength several times over, becoming a challenge that would push its hunting abilities to the very limit? The spider acts very differently from how it did with the fly because it knows it is now facing a less agile prey, unable to react with the same speed. Instead of rushing into a quick attack, it moves slowly, advancing with calculated steps, measuring every distance, and unfolding a more patient strategy, as if it already knew that the brute strength of this cricket would be useless against the precision of its ambush. Then I realized something. The spider was not trying to strike the cricket head on, but to catch it off guard, taking advantage of the slightest mistake. Its plan was far more subtle, to try to snare one of its legs with silk, to slowly immobilize it, and to force it to remain stuck until there was no chance of escape. Its silk is one of the most powerful weapons in the animal kingdom. Made of proteins with extraordinary strength, stronger than steel when compared by weight, and at the same time so flexible that it can endure the struggle of prey, fighting with all its strength to break free. The Stitota must move with caution, because this cricket is not a defenseless prey, but a rival equipped with a crushing jaw strong enough to cut through tough leaves and pierce stems with ease. That is why every move of the spider becomes calculated and patient, aware that a single mistake could ruin its entire hunting strategy. It reinforces its anchors with precision, continues weaving every strand of its trap, and finally remains still, waiting in silence. Pay close attention, because the patience of the spider has paid off and its carefully crafted plan has worked to perfection. In just four minutes, the spider has built a fully functional trap in which the cricket itself has become helplessly ensnared. Now the Stitota prepares to finish what it started, approaching with fury, determined to claim its meal. 
With its hind legs already trapped in the silk, the weaver prepares to take the next step to immobilize the front ones, always seeking the advantage of reducing every movement and removing all risk before approaching its prey. Finally, the trap has been fulfilled. The cricket lies defeated, and dinner is served for the Steatota. But this experiment does not end here, because I decided to take it a step further and acquire a small terrarium, a controlled space where I could continue observing every detail of this intelligent spider's behavior, from how it selects the best place to settle to the way it adjusts its hunting tactics as the conditions of its environment change. This spider shows a remarkable ability to adapt, managing to thrive in almost any environment, even in the most hidden corners of our own home. Wait, I just released my very first collectible insect figures, and honestly, they look incredible. Click the link in the description to check them out. I really think you're gonna love them. I've put a lot of work into bringing you a little piece of the world of insect experience. A dozen small fruit flies are about to enter the territory of the false black widow. These are specially modified flies with completely dysfunctional wings, forcing them to move only by walking and leaving them exposed as an easy resource for the spider. The spider's reaction was immediate, as if it enjoyed every moment of the hunt. For some of these tiny flies, it did not even consider wasting its valuable silk, but instead lunged at them with determination, seizing them directly with its fangs. It did so with complete confidence, fully aware that these were easy prey, incapable of offering any resistance. The Steatota demonstrates intelligence in every one of its actions, from the way it analyzes its prey to the way it adjusts its tactics according to the situation. Its movements are not mere instinctive reflexes, but precise decisions that reveal the sophistication of a predator, capable of adapting, learning, and seizing every moment to secure its survival.